Hey everyone, Zenonzimi here, and welcome back to Pokemon Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, well, Shifter was kidnapped, and I also didn't have this new TV. For those of you who have not watched my Dicey Warriors Gundam, yes, this is my new TV, and I'll be switch after this LP. I'll be switching to my new setup that this TV will be able to actually handle. So hopefully, it won't be too long. And we're going to Mount Thunder. We're going to edit the team and bring in the absurdly high level Larvitar. Last episode was bountiful. I wasn't expecting this baby. Well, it's not really a baby, but you get the you get the picture. This will help in the, in the battle but with Zapdos, I'm sure. If there is one. This is the food of Mount Thunder. I wonder, is Alakazam's team already on their way? Zapdos. It sounds very tough. But uh, I'm shaking. I shouldn't get all scared now. Objective is to rescue Shiftry. Zeno, let's do our best. Mount Thunder. Oh boy! Did this place get a huge debuff from the original? Other than just the fact that... Well, now we can recruit Pokemon at any point. The main... Thing that made this makes us made us into hard in the original is how uh oh what's the, what's the ability called lightning rod worked lightning rod while it's still really powerful here in the original game any any lightning move that was used would hit one of the Pokemon that has Lightning Rod and it would do nothing. So it so it kinda was very imbalanced. There's also another reason why it was this dungeon was absurd, but we'll get to it later. Oh my god, we got a Heracross. I'm. I normally would not ignore Heracross. However, this is the one time where I'm going to. Because Heracross is not going to help us. And I don't know. Oh, there's the Pokemon that I was talking about Electrike. Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod is a really annoying ability to deal with, especially with Pikachu. However, I actually want a uh, Nidoran. Really? I don't think... Okay, well, I'll level up, I wasn't expecting to level up. And there's Razor Leaf hitting tw going twice. And that's elect an electric, that's not going to be too helpful. Oh, don't tell me I actually already messed up. Right, there's also Stantler for some reason. It's the one Pokemon I never got why it's here. Uh, I think I might have messed up.
Oh, Cacony might actually also be useful. I didn't realize it had always a poison. If I did, I probably would have. Okay, so there are some need around still. Okay, good. We actually want to try and get a Pokemon that can poison onto the team. We don't. Well, we don't need to. I'm going to recommend it because. Really? I am so used to playing the original games. You can easily tell. Oh my god. Can't handle poison. Yep, I think this might be the floor that they disappear on. Great job, me. Great job. Good news, Cagney is still about. Oh my god, really? Yeah, we're just... Yeah, we're just going to leave. We're not... We're not gonna get the Pokemon I wanted. Any of the Pokemon I wanted, really. Um... Yes, use it on me. Now we get into the problem with that grass types have. There's going to be some Pokemon that grass types absolutely hate. And this was what I was sort of worried about. Are then Minatric. Thankfully, we have a Larvitar, which for some reason is really absurd. Uh, Right, I forgot you're also here. I don't know how I forgot you, Electabuzz. We're gonna try and get through this as quick as possible now, because... Right, Gligar. I completely forgot Gligar was the generation three po generation two Pokemon. And then we see the other problem the other thing that is a huge problem. Oh we actually got Minetric. I actually forgot we had Thunder Crag. Oh, that would actually be kind of good. Oh, right, you've got poison powder. Never mind. I don't need to worry about poison type. Again, Pokemon with poison type move. Okay, so I'm going to actually check the status of you. What is your ability? Your ability is stag. How the hell did I not get poison? Po poisoned? Par paralyzed. Uh, his ability could be better, but I mean... I'm not going to complain. He's actually pretty powerful. Uh, 
I love having a Pokemon with one of the, at least one of any one of the elemental things. Uh, no. On me. My god. Well, this is very awkward. This is gonna seem weird, but we're just gonna try and rush this now. <sighs> Climb so high. I wonder if we're almost at the top. Oh, Luke, Zeno. This is a Kangaskhan statue. I let you move items in and out of the toolbox, so it's very useful on adventures. Remember to use it when you want to organize your items. Anyway, it's not far now. Let's keep it up. This is a picture of I like and dislike. I sort of like it, but I also don't like it in some cases. Like, it's very useful for, like, if you've got some rare items that you need to put in and out. I don't like it because I prefer what they did initially. How they worked initially was that, uh, they just saved your progress. And there were special Kangaskhan statues that could only, that could deposit and withdraw. We'll be seeing the special kind later. The other thing I don't like about this. We initially, you could actually disband team members here. This made recruiting Pokemon really easy. However, as you can tell, we can't do that here. We'll be seeing a lot of these midpoint checkpoints. And oh boy. You'll be wishing that some of them weren't aren't are gonna be as short as this. Alright. Our main objective here now is to rush to the end while wasting as little PP as possible. Thankfully, we've got a Larvitar, so Larvitar is going to absolutely destroy any Pokemon that we come across. Partly thanks to Stone Edge being so really good this early on. Though I do like what they did in this version compared to what they did in the original, where it was just a it's considered a different bit of a dungeon. This is the summit. Warning. Bright flashes and also loud noise. Hey, Zapdos. Where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry. Come out. Well... I warned you, I have no mercy for millers. Not scared. You don't frighten me. Hey Zapdos, we demand you release Shiftry. We're a Pokemon rescue team. <laughs> you must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer to my great and righteous fury. I completely forgot what I did for Xanthus' voice. In the original, your partner would literally be basically here. I'm happy that they changed this, because oh my god, was it really annoying. And we're actually going to switch to 
Ivory. Because we, I know she's going to be using... Oh, right. We want to dodge this. As Ivory, at least. Want to hit with poison powder. Want to heal Larvitar because Larvitar is going to need it. Oh, it's a... Okay. Oh. Uh, I don't know what I should do. Actually, no. I know what I should do. Items. Where is it? Where's another Orenberry? I am not losing the net trick. Oh my god, Ivory! This is a slaughter. We're gonna try and flinch him. Uh, don't worry about me. Just try and try and finish him off because I think we can defeat him now. And you missed. Well then. We'll just give you a taste of your own medicine. Uh, use it on me first. And then use it on Ivory because we need as m Really? Well, I didn't expect to defeat it with a Minetric. But that's kind of useful though. Gyaaah! What is going on? Gyaaah! Hmm. You want more? I'll take you on. Enough! That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shiftry back. You kids. You've impressed me. But things won't be so easy. It won't be this easy next time. I will go all out next time. So you'd best be prepared. Until then, you better hone your skills. Goodbye, Zapdos. Oh boy. Look, there's Shiftry. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Somehow I'm. I am. Uh, I'm glad you're safe. But that was an eye opener. Driving off that Zapdos? <laughs> I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Eevee. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps you aren't a Pokemon, are you? Wow! How can you tell that? But you're right. Xeno isn't a Pokemon. Xeno is a human. What? Human? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? He doesn't understand very much either. He woke up one morning here as a Pokemon. He doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh wait! Lombre said something in this square. He said Algazam knows everything. Algazam, do you know why Xeno became a Pokemon? Hmm. 
No. I can't determine that. Oh, I thought you would know. However, there is a way to unveil the truth. Oh, really? How? Make your way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. You should sh shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, we should go see Zatu. Zeno, let's go off to the Hill of the Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shiftry, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess we should. Zeno! Don't just stand there, let's go home. Alakazam. I know you. You don't think... I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me, but it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. So, what's that? We'll have Minetric join our team at a very high level. I didn't expect Minetric <laughs> at all. No, I will not be giving you a nickname. But with that, we've... Zeno, good morning. Yesterday I did some checking around. Apparently the Hill of the Ancients is in the Great Canyon. We should go there right away. Off to the Great Canyon. Huh? What's the matter? It's nothing. Huh? Weren't you going to ask me something? What's wrong? Don't you want to talk about it? Why are you so fired up? Why? You need to ask me, me that? Your hard work doesn't even benefit you. That's why. Because it's not about me. I can try much harder to do my best. We're friends, aren't we, Zeno? <laughs> I want to do my best because it's for you, Zeno. That's what this is about. So, as always, let's try our best. With that, Next time, we're going to prepare for going to the Great Canyon, and then going to the Great Canyon. This is Eno and Azuma of Rescue Team Mystery, signing out.